hello everyone today in this video i will describe nasogastric tube or also known as rice tube in the parts of rice tube there are three parts of rice tube proximal end distal end and the central part at the distal end there is a blunt tip and holes near to the tip so in this picture you can see this is the tip of the rice tube which is blunt and also having the radio opaque marker and near to this there are various holes and at the proximal end there is a lock so in this picture you can see this is lock so when we are giving the feed or drugs to the patient by a rice tube it should remain inside not come out and in center there is a tube with various markings so this is a infant feeding tube which is having the markings at a 1 cm distance and the tube of larger size which is used for the children and adult there are markings at the distance of 46 56 66 and 76 cm from the distal end so these are the markings at the various distance also in the tube there is a radio opaque line so in this you can see the radio opaque line throughout the tube so the position of rice tube can be confirmed in x ray material of rice tube previously it was made up of soft rubber now it is made up of either polyethylene or polyvinyl chloride or polyurethane it is depend on the material of rice tube long lasting of the rice tube is depend so if it is made up of polyethylene or polyvinyl chloride then we have to change the rice tube every 15 days if it is made up of polyurethane then we can keep the rice tube for a 6 week 5 to 18th french size of the nasogastric tubes are available in newborn we prefer the 5 to 7 french size if the weight of the newborn is less than 1 kg then 5 french if the weight is between 1 to 2 kg then 6 french if full term and in infant 7 french and in children between 8 to 12 french size is preferred and in adults up to 18th french size is used so sizes depend on the age and weight of the patient and 1 french unit is equal to 1/3 mm diameter to measure the insertion length of nasogastric tube it should be from tip of nose to tragus to the halfway between gifoid process and umbilicus and it should be marked properly so the tip of the tube should reach up to the stomach procedure of nasogastric tube insertion so in this video you can see after measuring the insertion length of the nasogastric tube it should be marked then hold the nasogastric tube in between thumb and index finger and insert through the nose or we can insert through the oral cavity also in which we can say orogastric tube is insertion and if tube is recoil into the mouth or if patient is having the gag reflex or cough reflex then we have to remove and again we have to try and after inserting up to the measured length we have to cross check is it properly inserted into the stomach or somewhere else there are various method for the confirmation of proper placement of ng tube one of the method is known as Boost test. So in this video, you can see we are injecting the air by a syringe and auscultating over the epigastric region. If the gurgling sound is audible, that means air is entering into the stomach and NG is in proper place. If the sound is not audible, that means tip of the NG tube is elsewhere. there are various other method for the confirmation of proper placement of ng tube another way is to check the ph of gastric aspirate 
if it is less than 5 it indicate ng is in stomach another way is by x-ray this is the best method to confirm the position of ng tube in stomach so in this x-ray you can see ng is visible and this is the course of ng tube and this is the tip of the ng tube in stomach so this is the best way to confirm the proper placement of ng tube or one another method is that we have to place the tube in a glass of water and escape of the air bubble in water indicates that tube lies in trachea not in the stomach so these are the various methods to confirm the proper placement of ng tube there are various indications for the rice tube insertion diagnostic indication and the therapeutic indication in diagnostic indication in preterms newborn for the assessment of lung maturity we perform the shed test to see the risk of developing the respiratory distress syndrome and for the neonatal sepsis gastric aspirate test is performed for mycobacterium tuberculosis gastric lavage is sent for the cbna test in cases of poisoning gastric aspirate analysis will be required to confirm the poison assessment of upper gi bleeding can be done gastric analysis for the ph and enzymes level is performed in some cases for the diagnosis of tracheoesophageal fistula nasogastric tube insertion is done in tracheoesophageal fistula patient recoil of the ng tube can be seen in the x-ray therapeutic indication for the enteral feeding and for the administration of drugs in newborn and severe acute malnourished children ng tube insertion is needed so in this video you can see the newborn is on nasogastric feeding in cases of intestinal obstruction continuous rice tube suction will be required so in that case ng insertion is done and the cap of the ng tube should keep open and should be connected to the drainage bag and for the management of hematemesis it is needed and to decompress the stomach preoperatively if the urgent surgery is required and patient is not nbm and when we keep the patient on cpap continuous positive airway pressure then again to decompress the stomach ng tube insertion we should keep open will be required there are various complication of nasogastric tube insertion at the time of insertion sometimes damage to the nasal mucosa can lead to the bleeding from the nose and erosion of the nose can occur and if we keep the nasogastric tube for a long time then esophageal structure can develop and esophageal and gastric perforation can also be the complication and sometimes wrong placement of the ng tube in trachea bronco or pleural placement the pneumothorax can also develop and there are the chances of pulmonary aspiration if we have inserted short length of the ng tube and ng is in esophagus not in the stomach and patient is comatose then there can be aspiration and patient can develop the aspiration pneumonia or sometimes death can also occur so the, these are the various complication of ng tube insertion there are few contraindication of ng tube insertion in cases of head and neck injury and in nasal fracture and if the patient is having the esophageal stricture and in cases of injection of alkaline because chances of esophageal perforation will be high in that case ng tube insertions is contraindicated to differentiate between the nasogastric tube and suction catheter we have to see the proximal and distal end at the distal end in this picture you can see tip of the nasogastric tube is blunt while tip of the suction catheter is having the opening and at the proximal end there is a cap a lock in the nasogastric tube while there is a open port in suction catheter which is connected to the suction machine 
So we can easily differentiate both. Thank you.